In 2026, just when the market thought it had seen it all in the smartphone world, Tesla decided to rewrite the rules, and it did it with metal. The new Tesla Pi phone didn't come with empty promises or pretty little glass that shatters at the first drop. What it did bring was a body forged from the same alloy used in the Cybertruck and SpaceX rockets. Titan Aluminum Matrix Composite. No more 7,000 grade aluminum than previous generations. No tempered glass that only survives the first knock on a table corner. The Pi phone arrives as if it came straight off an aerospace assembly line. And that's no exaggeration. The structure was designed to take a real beating with a resistance rating of over 800 MPA. That's more than double that of most current smartphones, making the device virtually immune to bending, denting, and even drops that would previously have sent an iPhone straight to the repair shop. But the secret isn't just brute strength. The finish is also impressive. With no surface paint, the phone creates its own protection. When scratched, the metal activates an oxidation process that seals the microfractures and prevents further wear. This means that, over time, instead of becoming ugly, the phone seems to gain even more personality. It doesn't rust, doesn't stain, and doesn't lose its structural integrity, even after 10,000 abrasion cycles. This was confirmed by aerospace engineers who participated in the tests. In practice, you can forget about cases. And it's not just a matter of aesthetics. It's a new concept in durability. It's as if Tesla took everything that irritates current phones and said, let's fix it once and for all. Another detail that many people overlook, but that Tesla hasn't forgotten, is thermal resistance. Most smartphones begin to warp at 250 gradus 478 The Titan aluminum matrix, on the other hand, can withstand extreme temperature variations, like leaving the device in the scorching sun or using it in freezing environments without fear of cracking or loss of performance. And here's an interesting point. This technology wasn't created for phones. It was designed to withstand the friction of atmospheric re-entry, the vibrations of rockets, and the high-speed collisions of Tesla vehicles. In other words, the phone inherits this robustness almost by accident. And this changes everything, because the average consumer, already tired of replacing their cell phone every year, now has the option of buying something designed to last more than a decade, without becoming obsolete or breaking at the slightest misstep. Anyone who's ever had to deal with shattered glass or a dented frame that cuts your finger will understand the difference at first touch. The Pi phone feels like a professional tool, not a luxury toy. It not only holds up well, but it seems to defy time, as if to say, you can get hot, I'm boiling. Literally, as the device also maintains its integrity, even under direct exposure to extreme heat, something users of conventional models can barely imagine. When Tesla announced it was bringing its automotive battery technology into a smartphone, the world was skeptical. After all, how could you put the engineering of an electric car into something that fits in the palm of your hand? But 2026 arrived, and with it, the Pi phone, the world's first cell phone with a solid-state battery designed to last up to 25 years. No more sudden death after two years of use. No more charging cycles that diminish with each update. What Tesla has created is essentially a small, portable reactor, so efficient and safe that it seems to defy the laws of physics of modern electronics. The foundation of this revolution is a solid-state cell inspired by the Tesla Model 2 batteries, but adapted with surgical precision to the size of a smartphone. Instead of flammable liquid electrolytes, the Pi phone uses a solid ceramic polymer compound, resistant to temperatures of up to 350 degrees C without losing stability. This change eliminates the risk of explosion, overheating, and leakage, the biggest enemies of today's batteries. And most impressively, it maintains 88% capacity even after 10,000 complete charge and discharge cycles. That's the equivalent of using the same phone every day for 25 years without noticing any real loss in performance. 
But what's truly surprising is how quickly this battery fills. While other smartphones still struggle to reach 50% in half an hour, the Pi phone reaches 80% in just 150 seconds and 100% in just under 5 minutes. This feat is the result of a dual current protocol inspired by the Powerwall 4 system used in Tesla's solar powered homes. Recharging occurs with 98% efficiency, and even under full load, the internal temperature never exceeds 42 suttis. This means the phone can charge at lightning speed without turning into a mini oven. The feeling is that the charger has become a supporting role. Instead of being an essential accessory, it becomes almost decorative, since the user practically doesn't need to worry about battery life. Elon Musk even said in an interview that, the ideal battery is the one you forget exists, and the Pi phone seems to have embodied exactly that. This is the first time a tech company has treated longevity as a virtue, rather than a drag on profits. Another fascinating detail is its energy density. Each cubic centimeter of the cell stores 1050 WIL, 1 1.6 times more than the iPhone 17 batteries. This incredible efficiency allows the device to be thinner and lighter, but with twice the battery life. Users report that the Pi phone can last between 7 and 10 days of moderate use on a single charge, something previously unthinkable. It's a strange feeling. You wake up, use the phone all day, play games, record videos, stream videos, and it simply doesn't discharge. And even after years of use, the intelligent energy management system automatically adjusts charge distribution, preventing uneven wear and tear on internal cells. It's as if the phone has a brain that protects its own heart. This energy intelligence, in fact, is one of the reasons the Pi phone can operate at extremely low temperatures and still maintain stable performance. Tesla applied algorithms derived from its electric vehicle fleet to predict thermal behavior and optimize charging in real time. While competitors still debate which carrier offers the most stable 5G, Tesla simply ignored that debate. With the Pi Phone 2026, it skipped the cell towers and went straight to the sky, literally. By integrating connectivity with the Starlink satellite constellation, the phone no longer relies on terrestrial networks. This means it can connect to the internet from anywhere on the planet even in the middle of the ocean or on top of a mountain. For those who travel a lot, work in remote areas, or simply hate being held hostage by weak signals, this is a game changer. The heart of this system is hidden beneath the iconic Tesla logo, a zero. 80 teeth, 8 millimeter or ceramic antenna with phased array. This device can track up to 12 low orbit satellites simultaneously making small adjustments in real time as the user moves. Whether you're walking, driving, or even hiding under a tree, the signal adjusts with 0.2 degree precision to maintain a solid and stable connection. It's a solution that's only just beginning to appear in military technology and is suddenly in the pocket of anyone with a Pi phone. Initial tests surprised even Starlink's own engineers. On average, Pi phone prototypes achieved download speeds of between 35 and 50 MBPs and upload speeds of 20 MBPs with extremely low latency, around 45 to 55 milliseconds. This is four times faster than the iPhone 17 satellite-based SOS feature, which is still limited to text and only works in emergencies. The Tesla phone, on the other hand, allows voice calls, real-time GPS navigation, encrypted messaging, and continuous data synchronization. All this anywhere in the world, without the need for a SIM card, plan, or nearby cell tower. Of course, one of the challenges of satellite communication has always been power consumption. But Tesla solved this with a low-loss GN amplifier module that reduces power consumption by 32% compared to traditional RF receivers. The result? The phone can last up to 9 hours of continuous connection via Starlink on a single charge and without overheating, which is another remarkable feat. All of this only reinforces the idea that the Pi phone isn't here to compete with smartphones. It's ushering in a new category of devices.
And this becomes even more evident when you realize the level of independence it provides. Imagine being at a campsite in a rural area or even abroad and not relying on any local service to communicate. It's a kind of freedom that regular smartphones simply don't offer. And we're not talking about luxury here, but about security. In emergency situations, natural disasters, network outages, infrastructure failures, the Pi phone continues to function as if it were impervious to the outside world. This new era of connectivity also represents a direct blow to carriers. After all, if you can connect directly to the satellite, why pay for a monthly plan? Tesla's model relies on an integrated and decentralized subscription without long contracts, hidden fees, or data caps. And if Musk's track record is anything to go by, it's quite likely that this service will come in packages that are absurdly more affordable than those offered by traditional companies. The idea is clear. Democratize access to the global internet and make it unbreakable. The integrated antenna is so discreet, it almost goes unnoticed, but its impact on the device's design and functionality is enormous. Unlike devices with dongles or external modules, the Pi phone maintains an elegant and simple look. No antennas protruding from the top or adapters that break in your pocket. Everything is there, beneath the metal, working intelligently and invisibly, as if the phone had a sixth sense that kept it connected at all times. For years, smartphone privacy was treated as a vague promise, something that depended on passwords, updates, and usage policies that no one actually read. But Tesla, as expected, didn't want to mess around with this issue in 2026. It not only rewrote the concept of digital security, but literally disconnected the device from the outside world when necessary. And it all starts with the Dojo T1, the brain of the Pi phone. It's an artificial intelligence chip based on five nanometer architecture, derived from the same technology that trains Tesla's self-driving cars. Only here, it doesn't train anything, it protects. This chip, small in size but gigantic in capacity, performs 18 trillion operations per second, handling everything, voice, image, facial recognition, commands, navigation, and even biometric authentication. But instead of sending this data to the cloud, as most phones do, the Dojo T1 processes everything locally. This means that no personal information leaves the device without explicit consent. Nothing is stored on servers. No company has access. And perhaps most importantly, not even Tesla can see what's going on inside. And, as if that weren't bold enough, the Pi phone went further. It included a physical button, a real on-off switch that cuts off power to the camera, microphone, GPS, and modem. It's not airplane mode. It's not a temporary software-activated function. It's literally a power cut, a physical disconnect. And that's the key difference. When you activate privacy mode, there's no way for any app, company, or even the operating system itself to reactivate the sensors until you manually turn them back on. This detail changes everything, especially for an audience that has lived through the era of wiretapped calls, data leaks, and the uneasy feeling of being constantly watched. For these people, and there are many, this button isn't just a function, it's a statement, a reminder that control is finally in the user's hands. And it's no exaggeration to say that this is one of the simplest and most powerful innovations ever made in a smartphone. The operating system has also been redesigned from the ground up. Tesla OS is a fork of the same platform used in the brand's cars, with no open interfaces, no ad tracking, and no silent data collection. It operates in a closed loop, meaning no app can connect externally without undergoing strict filtering. If you want an app to access your camera, you need to manually authorize it, and you can revoke that permission at any time. No bureaucracy, no catches, no confusing terms of use. In fact, some say Tesla OS is almost antisocial, in a good way. It lacks native social media integration, 
comes with no pre-installed third-party apps and doesn't encourage intrusive notifications. The idea is clear. The phone should serve its owner, not compete for attention with recommendation algorithms. It's like returning to a time when technology was a tool, not an addiction. And at this point, it's impossible not to recognize that Tesla is going against everything the industry has been doing for the past 15 years. Anyone who's ever felt like their phone is listening to conversations will understand the relief of having a button that physically mutes the microphone. Anyone who's ever received strangely specific announcements after saying something out loud will appreciate this change. And for many, this may be the first time a device truly feels trustworthy. A device that not only promises to protect your data, but also demonstrates, with concrete engineering, that it can. Overheating is one of the biggest culprits of modern smartphones. That feeling that your device is about to explode after recording a 4K video, opening the camera at maximum zoom, or simply spending a few minutes playing a demanding game. Tesla, of course, didn't accept this as normal. In 2026, it borrowed what it learned from the Model S's battery cooling modules and brought a thermal system worthy of a high-performance vehicle to the Pi phone, a system that functions like a cooled engine inside a phone. It all starts with a vacuum-sealed vapor chamber inside the device. This chamber collects the heat generated by the Dojo T1 and Tesla's graphics cores and immediately transfers it to a mesh of graphene capillaries. These ultra-thin channels conduct heat throughout the device's internal structure, distributing it evenly before it accumulates in critical areas. The titanium and aluminum housing also participates in this process, acting as an active heat sink. In other words, the housing isn't just protection, it's part of the cooling system. The result is surprising. During extreme tests, like continuous 8K video recording and real-time AI processing, the Pi phone maintained its internal temperature below 35 degrees. For comparison, the iPhone 17 easily reaches 48 B starters in similar situations, which is already enough to start the process of thermal throttling, meaning the phone begins to self-limit itself to prevent melting. The Tesla phone, on the other hand, remains firm, stable, and cool, even under constant pressure. This thermal performance brings a number of advantages beyond just comfort to the touch. With less heat, internal transistors degrade 45% slower. The battery suffers less stress, maintaining its integrity for much longer. And performance in graphics-intensive applications and games remains consistent without frame drops or stuttering. The phone handles the pressure without giving up, a rarity even among dedicated gaming devices. Another positive point is that the system operates completely passively. There are no fans, motors, or moving parts. Everything is based on intelligent thermal flow engineering and advanced materials, such as graphene, which, incidentally, is known as nature's best heat conductor. Tesla has managed to harness this exotic raw material and put it to work inside a cell phone. It's another one of those things that seems like science fiction, but became reality thanks to Musk's obsession with efficiency. And the best part is that this efficiency is maintained even in extreme conditions. According to Tesla's laboratory tests, the Pi phone operates normally between 20 degrees and 60 degrees. This means it can not only withstand the cold of a snowy mountain, but also operate in the sweltering heat of a solar panel in the desert. No popular smartphone today comes close to this thermal tolerance.